Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I post all sorts of fitness and lifestyle videos and a lot of law school videos because I am a 1L. So law school is my lifestyle at this point point. Anyways, today's video is going to be all about some of my general, you know, reflections on week one. So I have just made it through, you know, as as promised, I've just made it through week one. Uh, so wanted to sit down and film a little video just talking about the experience and how it has gone for me so far, I guess. So we're going to just, just have a little chat. Uh, so the first thing is classes, uh, which is obviously like a very broad topic that covers most of it, but wanted to talk about the actual classes specifically and then talk about, you know, other associated things like readings, but starting with just classes. First of all, Zoom is, <laughs> Zoom is interesting. I don't think it's necessarily worse. Uh, I think I had a lot of training going into this because I had been working remotely for five months. So I very much had kind of gotten used to that setting of, you know, you, you show up to class, you show up to a meeting the same way that you would do it in person. It just happens that you're over the computer. That being said, I have one in-person class. I have an in-person class on Wednesday mornings and I actually really, really enjoyed that. I definitely think that once, you know, schools are safe to reopen, I'm really, really going to enjoy being at law school full time, uh, being in a classroom. I think there's definitely, you know, aspects of that experience that are valuable. Also, bonus tip on that, if you sit, if you're the only person in the front, expect to be the first cold call. <laughs> Lesson learned from Taylor. Uh, it's okay, we survived. Uh, that's another thing is cold calls got easier and it's only been week one so I can't obviously like say forever. But on day one, like I got called on by a professor and wasn't 100% sure of the answer which was stressful. But that, and it was cause it was not in the reading. It was just a totally random fact uh, that I didn't know off the top of my head. And in, you know, progressing through the week Everyone does that. Like that's not, you know, doesn't make you look bad in comparison to everyone else. Like no one really cares that much. Like if you ask me to tell you the name of a person who got a question wrong, I I got nothing. Um, and I'm like paying attention. Like I'm like listening, but yeah, I'm not gonna like remember someone's face based on whether they got a question from a professor wrong. Uh, and I don't think most other people are either. So not as big of a deal and it definitely did get easier kind of starting to feel out what professors were looking for, uh, what they were asking, whether they are the type of person who wants a very direct answer or whether they want a more complete long-winded answer. Certain uh, professors, I think, even within my, like, within my set of three doctrinal courses expect totally different things. So I think feeling it out, it, gets a little bit easier. That first day is just always an adjustment period for everybody. And it is a very, very much a setting where you have to be 100% on at all times, just because you never know when you're gonna get called on. I didn't have anyone who taught Socratic method. In undergrad, I had teachers who got close, but for the most part, they honored, you know, hand raising and then only called on people if they got no volunteers. So that was a, you know, as long as you were the type of person who was raising your hand, you weren't likely to just get called on randomly. And so it was okay if maybe you were a little bit, a little bit missing uh, on some of the details. Yeah, no, that's not, that's not an option. Uh, I, you can probably hear my cats running around. And so that kind of goes into number two, which is the readings, which take up a fair amount of time for the amount of, you know, pages. Uh, I definitely, I didn't uh, underestimate how much time they would take. I think I've done pretty well blocking off, you know, the amount of time, but it's about two hours of prep pretty much for every class. It's two hours of reading to really go in and read the material and 
figure out the elements of the case and turn them into a brief or even just book brief them. Uh, I've been doing a mix of both, so I've been highlighting key facts in the book and then transferring them into a brief as well, which has been helping me like build an understanding of what's going on and like figure out how to break down the structure of a case. So it's definitely a lot more time consuming than normal reading and the pace is naturally slower because you have to go over things multiple times. Whereas, you know, when you're reading a chapter of a textbook in undergrad, it's not super important that you like pick out the like finest details uh, and it is very important in law cases. So, but that being said, I also don't think it takes up your entire life. Uh, I could change my mind at some point, but given that I have been told that it gets easier and you get faster over time, and this first week I really was able to like only find myself working from nine to seven each day and even with that usually have my workout in the middle of the day and was still able to kind of keep a schedule where i had some flexibility in the evenings and got to do things that were more discretionary i wasn't reading for law school i was reading a book or i was watching an episode of a tv show or i was on a zoom call with some friends so it is more time consuming than I think a nine to five, but it is not, does not necessarily have to take up your entire life. And I don't think that, you know, spending an extra hour on the readings would have made me more prepared for class uh, than what I was. So I don't necessarily think, you know, you need to fill up every spare piece of time with law school. Uh, I don't think at, at a certain point you like hit like diminishing returns like you've you've learned the case like you're able to answer a professor's questions and kind of understand the structure of it and how it's relevant and I think at that point go relax go chill the third thing is just kind of other commitments uh so my school had its student activities fair this week. I had a mock interview with the Career Center. I also had a moment where I was working on a writing sample to deliver to the Career Center. So there's definitely a lot of other commitments too to keep track of beyond just school. And it starts up pretty quick as I've learned. So the <laughs> job hunt process is, it's, it's a lot. Um, I'm personally looking more towards public interest, so I do have a bit more time than someone, you know, if you're a one looking for a firm position, it's I, it's coming a lot faster. I was actually not prepared for that at all. Coming from undergrad where a lot of my internships, you know, I, you applied in like March for an internship in May. Uh, summer stuff here is that you apply in like December. So uh, it's a good thing to have all of that stuff, you know, sorted before before starting because it definitely adds a level of time commitment to your day to keep track of all of those other random things on the on the docket that being said the kind of ultimate takeaway uh is and i i don't know if this is necessarily a my law school thing or a general law school thing but the support system in place for one else is just there's so many different people you can talk to there's so many different you know other law students uh that give you bonus advice or you know the career center or professors who are actually you know prof the professors genuinely are wanting you to learn and to learn how to do well in their classes uh the support system is great. I have really, really found that. And that is part of the reason that I chose the school that I went to. That is part of the reason I chose WashU is because my experiences with the admissions office and with people within the school really gave me a sense of community and a sense of like camaraderie versus competition. So I think that that aspect is something that I'm really excited to have seen kind of come to life and come to fruition. So it wasn't just like a show, like there's very much that dedication to helping everyone succeed. So here for that. 
that being said i do think a lot of a lot of it a lot of this first week was very much like it's what you make of it um and so for me once again i was i've been able to kind of restrict my law school experience times basically to you know nine to seven or eight uh it hasn't you know kept me up all evening i haven't you know uh had to give up things that i want to do like i haven't had to like give up time to go to the gym uh or to work out or to read or watch tv like there's definitely time for all of that but it is a matter of time management and so for me i showed this in my first day vlog i'm I, like genuinely blocking off time for every single assignment and within that time window that's when i do that work and i don't let myself you know stop until i'm done so that i think has helped a lot and will continue to help a lot especially even as things pick up just to give myself very defined boundaries for when i am on and when i am off but it has definitely gotten easier since day one and i think that that's like a promising trend if you know things are clicking from the first week i'm feeling pretty good about week two and beyond i definitely felt confidence build as the week went on and i think that hopefully that is going to be a trend that continues and continue to feel good about what we're doing as long as you stay on top of everything the same way i stayed on top of things this first week so it is very much a very much not over and that's the entirety of my first week for you it's been a lot of fun it has been a roller coaster of a ride but we're we're here we made it to the other side and i am about to go start reading for <laughs> next week so grind does not stop if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more from me you can hit the subscribe button down below and i will see you guys next week for another new video bye